Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today I'm talking about the biggest problem that I see data scientists facing today. While data science is an awesome career, I know that there are many data scientists out there that don't feel fulfilled by their work. They go in expecting to be doing cutting edge research and solving complex problems, but they end up working on projects that are boring and that don't properly leverage their skills. This leads to a surprising amount of job dissatisfaction in data science roles. There's an article from Katie Nuggets that goes into this a little bit deeper that's also linked in the description below. In this video, I'll hopefully get to the bottom of this mismatch and suggest some ways that you can avoid this problem as a data scientist and as an organization. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more content at the intersection of data science and sports analytics, please consider subscribing to my channel. This mismatch between data science skills and on-the-job requirements comes from two things. One, large companies believe that they need data science to compete, so they hire data scientists without really even having projects for them. And two, there's still a lack of a clear definition of what a data scientist really does. Let's talk about some of the ways to avoid this first pitfall. If you're a data scientist, when you're interviewing, make sure that the team has a clear idea about the types of projects that they want to solve. Also, make sure they have the data and the necessary tools to reach these goals. If you can, you should also get a feeling about the politics around the data science team. Are people truly bought in to using data science solutions? At many companies, data science can be the result of pressure from the top, and some of your peers might frown upon your work. I personally wouldn't want to go into a company that is extremely skeptical of everything that I work on. As an organization, you should make sure that your CTO or your head of analytics has a clear vision about what outcomes they want to create. You should also provide very clear education to all the teams about how data can be a powerful and helpful tool. Buy-in is extremely important within your organization and overlooking this element can cause disastrous conflict within your company. Now, how should we tackle the problem of defining data science? At different companies, data scientists can be doing vastly different things. You may be doing mostly data manipulation and data engineering at one company, while at another, you're doing deep learning and model productionization. For a data scientist, you should be asking as many questions about a day in the life at the company as you can. You should also try to understand what other roles are filling out the rest of the team that you're on. For example, if the team you're working with doesn't have any data engineers, you can bet that you're pretty likely going to have to do a reasonable amount of data manipulation and data engineering. If you'd like, you can also ask about how the company would define data science. I've heard some pretty interesting answers from this, and many of them gave me red flags. From the company perspective, I think it helps to have very specific roles for your data scientists. Many organizations now have broken the traditional data science role into multiple parts. For example, instead of calling just everyone a data scientist, they will now have you know, data engineers, data scientists, machine learning engineers, and visualization specialists. While this can lead to some HR confusion, it does give prospective data scientists more clarity about the expectations of the role they're going into. Another important part of this process is authentic feedback. Simply asking your data scientists if they are working on the things that they believe can make the most difference is often overlooked. Good data scientists have many options and you should try to keep them happy if you can. I hope that this video shed some light onto this hidden challenge within the data science field. I also hope that the tips that I give you here can help you get past this hurdle as an individual data scientist or as a company. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.